Greetings, this person currently watching this, and welcome back to Soma. So I've been sitting here for a while, and our friend just kind of keeps hanging around. So I'm guessing it's not a case of you need to be quiet as much as you just need to outrun the guy. Um, I will say this, however, while I was off camera, I was able to do two things. One, I was able to realize that on the computer above me, I can call somebody, and it'll make noise, and this guy will come running. Also, when I used the, that thing, I was able to call the infirmary, and I had this, uh, when I called the infirmary, I had this lady, who sounds like the uh, chick on my little Omni tool, answer and say she's not in the mood to talk to robots right now. So, if anything, I'm trying to think what we can do here. I mean, I could just book it, just run for it. But I want to try something. Know if it'll work. Let me see something. If I sneak out right now, will he just turn around? No, okay, so he is kind of oblivious to the whole me when I'm sneaking like this. He's kind of, he seems oblivious to it. Yeah, he's kind of walking. Okay, he's over that way, so yeah, we can kind of slip out now. Hopefully, he doesn't come running this way. Alright, so. I think he's still fumbling around over there, so that's good. So let's continue on. I probably should use that map back when we were in that room. Okay, again, not gonna close the door because then that will let him know that we're in here. That's kind of ominous. That's a lot of blood. Please don't tell me he just came over here. He has absolutely no reason to be over here. Why is he over here? Okay, well, it looks like a whole lot of not what we need is here. Hey, go check that out. Don't be here. Go somewhere else. Am I just going to have to outrun you this entire time? Like, I can't sneak anywhere. I'm just going to have to keep shutting doors behind me. Because that's going to be really not fun. I mean, I guess it could be tense because, you know, you're going to have that constant feeling of he's right behind me. He's going to get me. Yep, he saw me. Yeah, guess what? We're going to do this. If anything, this will tell me... Okay, yeah, no, you can't outrun it. So, what, did you kill me? Or is it like that? Or was I supposed to get caught? No, I don't think I was supposed to get caught. It just made so that he kind of he just kind of screwed off and left me to be. Nope, he's still there. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, because this is cool and all. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm not sure what I can do. I'm really not. I can't outrun him, and apparently I can't sneak anywhere without him knowing, because I guess he's got, like, super stats, you know? You know, if, like, if we were in a video game where you had, like, special abilities, and you could go from 1 to 10, his would be just 11 all across the board. You know what I'm saying? He's just one of those guys. Ugh. Can you just go somewhere other than here, please? Alright. Maybe he went somewhere. He came right back. I start moving and he comes right back. Come on now. Yeah, hey there, friendo. Shut the door. Nope, let's shut the door. Oh yeah, disturbing imagery. Oh. Ugh, why? Okay, so... What have we learned here? You can't sneak, because he can hear you. You can't run, because he can catch you. So, what am I supposed to- Oh, and you can't stand still, because he'll find you. So... What am I supposed to do? Yeah, 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 alarm. It's annoying, it's loud, it's obnoxious. Open these up so that way I can run through here, if anything. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe they want you to close the doors behind you? Because I've noticed, because if you notice, when I close the door behind me, he pounds on it for a while before he comes after me. Or, you know, before he opens it. So maybe you're supposed to run, you know, it's supposed to be like, you run from one door to the next, closing them behind you, so that way he'll stop to pound on him and you can slip away. Let me try that out. Alright, come on, hurry, open up. Yeah. Pull 
lot of fanfare for one door. Honestly, though, it's like, could you imagine having this door just in your place of business, you know? Like, if each and every day when you go to, like, clock in, you have to open a door like that. Alright, so here's the hoping that we get like this. He'll kind of just pound his way through and not take him over here. That's what he seems to be doing. Alright, that's cool. Dude, really? So no matter where I go, you're gonna find me. Is that that's the game we're playing right now? Is that how this is gonna be? Uh, go. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut this one as well. Which one are you gonna pound on, boyo? I need to hit the other one. not know where I am? Guess I gave him the slip or something. Just for the time being. Alright, so... We went in that room and we found out there wasn't anything at all in there. That's the laboratory here. Okay, so here's another door we can go through. Okay, he might come in to inspect that noise. So then we need to get hooked over here. Maybe we chill out here? That is, unless you, you know, from behind. No, you're not coming that way. He's coming this way. There he is. Hey there, big guy. How you doing? Douche. Alright, well, there's another doorway we can go through also. So right now he's busy checking that door. Sounds like he's barreling down. Yep, just barreling down the hallway. He's coming this location. Because, huh? What was that noise? Yeah, go and inspect that. If anything, I can use the doors as, like, bait. Okay, so what's over here? Is there anything I should be concerned with? Or is it a whole heap of hoop and nothing? It looks like there's a whole bunch of nothing. Right, we're gonna sprint. And we're gonna come down here, like that. Maybe he'll go after that noise. Yeah, see, he's banging on that door right now, so he's distracted with the door. So maybe he won't be over here? He can slip through. Looks like these doors don't have a... No? Okay, I guess those doors don't close. I guess they only close from one side. Ah, crap. Come on, hurry up. Alright, and then we need to close this door. We need to climb this ladder. There we go. I'm sure you can get up here just as easily as we do. So that can't be good. Usually when you hear sounds like that underwater, that's that's not a good thing. That's not the sound that... Oh, because dead silence is even more comforting. Something's about to happen. Bad things in my future. I can tell. Oh. Well then. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna keep crouched down though. I feel safe when I'm all huddled up like this. It's like being in the fetal position. But I'm still mobile. Okay, here we are. Loading quarters. Yeah! The terrifying. So you just gonna keep doing that? Okay, storage. Johan Ross. I don't think it's uh, nope, remotely locked. I guess they all unlock in here. Can't see what that says. Can barely see what that says. Oh. I'm just gonna leave you be. How about in here? More previous. Oh, hey there. What's up? Oh, you tell me to move on? Okay, I can move on. There's no reason for me to be here, I suppose. Alrighty. High pressure. How about here? Another person. Alright. Infirmary. I think he. I'm, 
Yep, he's he's wanting me to help him. Okay, so dispatch. Maybe. And here is where we need to go. Dispatch. Hmm, well, there's stuff here. Hey. Yeah, that's cool and all. All right, so. Ooh, hello. What's this? Can I pick it up? Uh, yeah, scribbles. Okay. Uh, Post-impact notes, minor structural damage, radio knocked out, communications recovered. Omicron and the rest of Pathos 2 are all right. Cross-site radio failing. Lumar probes keep losing the link. Urgent fix needed. Tau can't receive the climber until the link is working. April 11th. Uh, visited by SSE Walchek Dahl in Holland. System of bi-weekly visits established until communications. Lumar back at 100%. Evacuation of Tau ordered. We're all leaving for Omicron. Swarmed by monsters and no radio. We're screwed. Yeah, that's usually the long short of it. Okay, so fee status. Uh, that's okay. Whatever that means. Oh, access tunnels. Um, okay, no feedback. That's never a good thing. Okay. The rest of it looks good, though. Door locks. Okay, so I can unlock certain doors. Infirmary. That's, I think, we need to unlock the infirmary. And the cabin A, Johan Ross. Okay. Oh. Password code for that. Okay, how about this one? Oh, yeah, okay, I can open that one. Com logs. Nothing I need there. Transmissions. Upsilon. So all of these aren't working. Oop. Able to establish connection. Okay, that's interesting. That's. Oh, darn it all. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, so we definitely needed to do that. We have a dive room here. Which I don't think we need to go to. I think actually we might need to go in there. Uh, oh, here we are. Infirmary. Okay. Infirmary and the bathroom. Okay, infirmary. Let's try this one. I think because this is the one we opened. Alright, so let's go here. Hey! Hello! Here. here. Hi. Don't mind me. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos 2. And, uh, I'm the only living person you've met? <laughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? Yep, pretty I'm sorry. much. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed at? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. To tell you the truth, I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. Wow. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. Well, I don't... The thing is, I don't think I have to kill her. I shouldn't have to kill her, you know? If I knew <laughs> you'd come, I would clean this place up a little bit. Do I... I guess... I don't know. That is kind of a difficult choice to make, huh? You serious about me killing you? No. I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Alright, as you wish. 
I still can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. Heady tonic, isn't it? Alright, well, I mean, the thing... The thing... Here's the thing, though. It's like, why don't I... I'm gonna pause this because I don't want any of this interrupting it. It's just like... From, from what I saw downstairs, they had one of those little brain scan chairs. Now, yes, our little friend in the suit was down there, but I can distract him. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that I've pulled aggro on a monster. Trust me. I could distract him. We can get a brain scan. We can plug her into the system. She'd be, you know, right as rain. But I'm guessing we don't have that option because that's not this kind of game. And since she asked, you know, it is her wish to do it, I'm going to do it. Would you stay with me, please? Of course. It won't be long now. Just... Please, just stay. Of course. I'm not gonna just leave you here to rot. What a well, I mean... crazy thing this was. Life. Yeah, it usually is. It's At least total kick in the head. Turn 30. Hooray! <laughs> Wish I could have died at home with my friends. You ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. At least it used well, to be. At least when you get out of the city. Manok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place. Don't think of it that way. It ended at all. Yeah, you shouldn't think of it you that way. I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. I know how that is all too well. Simon, you're still there? I'm here, sir. Yeah. Don't let him die. Okay. Send them out there. To the stars. Oh, I intend to. Trust me. Still here? The black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. There we go. Oh, so I'm just kind of stuck holding this thing? I mean, that's kind of cool and all, but... Alright, that's... Uh, can I do this still? Alright, intercom, door locks... Can I unlock this one? Two... Again, I feel like I really shouldn't do this, but... I'm guessing we need to go there at some point. Photos... Huh. Well, that's cool. It's photos of everybody who worked here, except for her, who I don't know who that is. Recent documents, corrupted, restored data files. Alright, we're gonna do this real quick and then we're gonna continue on. I have a feeling things is gonna go bad though. Uh huh, uh huh. Alright. Sorry. Well, enjoy uh, the afterlife. Your suffering is finally at an end. You know? I mean, th you know, if you think about it, it's just like. No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the ark like this. What do I need then? Hmm. So what exactly do I need? Is there a thing here that can shrink it down? Is there another doorway that I must use? Ah! Oh, hello! You! Yeah, okay. Uh, we can take it to the calm room, we can take it to the infirmary. Okay, so at least that's where it's going right now. Okay, right now it's in the calm room. Now it's here in the infirmary. Okay. And then boop! Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um, okay, so... Do I choose? Okay, do that. Okay. I'm taking it to the calm room. I feel like I need to take it to the calm room. I just, I feel like if... That's not good. That's not good. That means some... Oh, you dick. I know who did it and I know what you did. Oh, I am so busting you in the teeth if you did this. I know you're like some horrible amalgamation of flesh right now. But I have a feeling... Okay, so what's in here that it wanted me to see? Oh, hey. Hey, there's a thing of Buddha! Happy Buddha! You know there's a difference, though. This isn't, um, actual, like, Buddha Buddha. 
I mean, he, this guy was a Buddha, but the original Buddha, like the first Buddha, that's not him. The, um, that, that's, they call him, like, Fat Buddha or Happy Buddha. The other Buddha, um, the one most people, I think, refer to as Skinny Buddha, he was the first Buddha. His, um, his name was Siddhartha. I believe he was the first Buddha. Oh, hey! A little bobblehead, too. Ooh. Well, how come you don't, you're broken, you don't work. Wait, what is this? What is so important about this? Okay, recordings. Yeah, okay. Oh, I don't know if I want to listen to all that. And a bunch of stuff. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm going to leave these on here, so if you want to read them, you can read them. Alright? So now, okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm at the 20-minute mark, so I'm going to end the episode here. Like, I'm going to stop talking, but I'm going to continue recording, and I'm going to play all of these. So, if you don't care about these, you can end the video here. I won't hold it against you. If you want to read these, here you go. Oh, by the way, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Bye. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos II, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron.